In this last video for confidence intervals, we're just going to revisit calculating different sample sizes for estimating population means, sample sizes for estimating upper portion, sample sizes for estimating a difference between population means, and sample size for estimating differences between proportions. So we have all the formulas here uh, for, on the right, and uh, I won't go through the algebra of how we obtain them. We're just going to actually use the formulas to determine these. So in the first example here, we want to provide a sample size for a population mean with for a population mean estimate of plus or minus 0.4 with a 95% confidence interval. And basically, what sample size is required to estimate the mean with a 0.4 margin of error for defects? So our confidence level is going to be given as 95%. The interval length is 0.4, so that's the 0.4 margin of error that we're looking for. Our estimated population standard deviation is given to us in some, fa some manner as 1.693. Again, that would be given to you as a part of the question, something that will be known prior. So our z multiple of the 95%, again, we're going to be using the norm.standard inverse, uh, 0.975, as we've done in previous videos, and that gives us 1.96. When we do that in our calculation, we see that it's going to be 68.816. Again, we will take the z multiple, times it by the standard uh, population standard deviation, divide by our required interval length, and square it to get 68.81. So our final answer really should be 69 because we should round this up to the next highest integer. Now we're going to look at the sample size for estimating a proportion. Again, it will use the formula over to the right a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, provide a sample size for a proportion estimate with 95% confidence level of plus or minus 0.03. So what sample size or how many voters is required uh, to provide a 3% margin of error plus or minus for presidential approval? We'll first put in our confidence level at 95%. Our interval length is 0 0.03. The proportion of success, we're going to say is 55, so that's a 55% approval rating. Our proportion of failure will therefore be 1 minus that of 0.45. And so we're going to do our z multiple once again using the norm.sinv to get 1.96. And therefore, our sample size will be given by the, by the formula up here, where we take the power of b24, which is the z multiple, divided by b21, which is the interval length. We're going to square that. And then we're going to multiply it by the proportion of success uh, estimate and the 1 minus the proportion of, of success. And that would be the 0.55 times 0.45, which gives us 1056. We round this up and we will get 1057. And you could play around with this to determine uh, if you want to decrease the margin of error, how many uh, sample, what size sample would you need. So now we're going to look at the sample size for estimating differences between the two means. So we're going to provide a sample size for a population mean estimate, plus or minus 12, with a 95% confidence interval. An example of this might be, what sample size is required to estimate the difference between number of calls that we might get in a call, two call centers with a plus or minus 12 margin of error? We take our confidence level of 95%. Our interval length is 12. We have an estimated standard uh, deviation of 22. Again, that would be given to us. Calculate a z multiple at 95%, which would give us our 1.96. And our estimated sample size would therefore be 25 within each sample. And again, that's because our standard population, our deviation is a little narrow. Our interval length is pretty wide. And our final answer is 26 in that case. So now we're going to take the sample size for estimating differences between proportions. So we have our formula over here to the right, uh, and it basically shows us how we take the z multiple, divide by the interval length, square it, multiply by the probability of success in sample 1 times the probability of failure in sample 1, and then we add to that the probability of success in sample 2 times the probability of failure in sample 2. This would be synonymous with saying, uh, if we're looking at two samples, what sample size, how many voters is required to divide a plus or minus 2% margin of error in the difference between two different surveys uh, on a presidential approval or on anything else. So we have our confidence level at 95%. We have our interval length that's given by the 2%, 0 
And we might say that our proportion of success in sample 1 is 0.5, and our proportion of success in sample 2 is 0.52. We calculate our z multiple again, as we had before. Now what we'll do is we will calculate the sample size, and we get 4797. Seven. And again, that formula up here is synonymous with the one on the right. We will take the ceiling of that, and we end up with 4798. So you can see that we need a larger sample size when we're dealing with the difference between proportions.